Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about atoms. So all materials and substances are made up of atoms and they're the basic building blocks of ordinary matter. So atoms can join together to form molecules which in turn forms most of the objects around you. Here's what an atom looks like. The centre of the atom is called a nucleus and it contains protons and neutrons. Outside of the nucleus we have these electron shells which are where the electrons are. The electrons circulate around the nucleus of the atom, so you can imagine the electrons are basically orbiting or circulating around the nucleus of the atom. Protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged and the neutrons don't have a charge. We can say that the nucleus of an atom is positively charged because it contains these positive protons. Atoms are usually overall neutral in charge because the number of protons equals the number of electrons. Because of this, the positive and negative charges tends to balance out. So you have to remember that the nucleus of the atom is positively charged, but the overall atom itself is neutral. This is a little bit different to ions, which are atoms which have lost or gained electrons. So they're usually quite reactive in order to try and balance out their charges. So this means in this case, the number of protons present in ions doesn't equal the number of electrons. So for example, the chloride ion, it looks like this, and it has one more electron than protons. The calcium ion, which is Ca2+, has two less electrons than protons. When we look at the periodic table, which has a big list of elements, we often see these two numbers next to the element symbol. This number is called the mass number, and this tells you the total number of protons and neutrons in the atom. The smallest number is called the atomic number, and it tells you the number of protons present. If you're ever trying to work out the number of neutrons present in the atom, all you have to do is just subtract the atomic number from the mass number.